Welcome back to continue our discussion talking about resiliency in youth. Joining me now is Marvin Blades. He's the president of 100 Black Men of Tulsa. That's correct. And you also work with Tulsa Public Schools and their campus police. So I people do. are wondering, why are you wearing what you're wearing? <laughs> <laughs> you know, do they wear that as a uniform? <laughs> it's a part of your Tulsa Public Schools campus police um, uh, uniform. That's true. Now, tell us a little bit about, because we've talked with, I've talked with Orlando about his experience and uh, Principal Candace Bullock of Trace Academy. Mm -hmm. um, how did, uh, how does the 100 black men sort of focus on this concept of mentoring? I want to start there. I mean, what do you, what do you do in that arena? We found out that the most effective means of uh, turning kids around that made mistakes is mentoring. Uh, we found out that uh, the younger we get them, the more successful we are. Okay. Uh, with Orlando, uh, he came to our attention from uh, uh, Principal Candace Bullock. Okay, so when he had enrolled in the school, she got in touch with you? I mean, are you an organization that does routine things within the school? Because she did talk about mentoring and, and support systems within the alternative program that she operates. Mm -hmm. Are your group one of those sort of staples of that particular school? Well, not just that school. Uh, we, our focus right now is North Tulsa schools. Okay. Uh, because we've got a lot of young men in particular that are at risk of getting involved in gangs. Okay. So uh, that is our focus right now. Okay, so that really is a, a mission that you've defined and an urgent need Most as well. Definitely. Yes. So she brought him to your attention. I mean, what did she ask you to do? Well, first she, she just, just wanted us to talk to him. Okay. And uh, when I first met him, I was impressed uh, because right off the bat, he took ownership of what he did. Mm -hmm. He never denied uh, being involved in anything. Uh, he just wanted to uh, get past what he did. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, he didn't even ask us for help. Uh, his story, you know, touched me to the point that uh, I contacted uh, as many men as I could. Uh, we invited him, him and his mother to one of our meetings. Okay. And as a result of them coming to the meeting, we started hooking up with uh, networking with, with different organizations. And uh, we was able to hook him up with uh, some college money. Okay. And uh, that's the direction that we're trying to push him in. Okay. So even in terms of one of the things that you will do, it's just not mentoring in terms of meeting with the child. It's like the full-scale picture once again, mm -hmm. looking at what their needs are and where are they and where are they trying to get and then trying to find resources to help do that. Yes. Mm -hmm. We were uh, with Orlando. Uh, we was able to get him um, uh, invitations. Uh, we was able to get him a senior picture. Uh, a lot of our members uh, broad professions and each one of them that uh, they came forward and offered their services uh, to Orlando and his mother and uh, I, I was amazed how grateful he was just for some of the small things Okay. and uh, we invited him to some of the uh, uh, different activities that we do like the seat car seat belt safety seat deal we do mm -hmm. he worked the whole time a couple of other little mentors were with us and uh, the whole time like I said he just impresses me how uh, grateful he is for what you do for him. Now in terms of mentoring, because sometimes people may understand, especially as an organization, mm. how involved do you stay? Um, and sometimes <laughs> people are accustomed to a, a mentor mm -hmm. coming in at the beginning and mm -hmm. doing a few little things mm -hmm. and then they kind of disappear and mm -hmm. you don't see them anymore. But what is the focus of the 100 Black Men in relation to, to mentoring that way? Well, we're extremely involved. Uh, First of all, once we interview a child and we meet their parents, uh, what we try to do is show them that uh, there's people that look like them, particularly African-American males, that uh, are, are doing things out in the community that, that are not necessarily negative. Mm -hmm. uh, we introduce them to attorneys, doctors, policemen, firemen, and when we come in, we come in as a group. Uh, anytime we, we meet a kid, I'll bring at least five or six men uh, to meet them. And uh, when we meet them, we, we do follow-up. We come to the school at least three times a week. Mm -hmm. uh, we sit down, we talk to them. If they're real young, we eat lunch with them. And uh, sit down, kind of shoot the breeze with them and, mm -hmm. and try to help them set goals, read to them, come to their classes, sit in, monitor classes. And uh, we even get to the point where we assign a mentor after we meet the parents okay. and after we do our backgrounds and everything. And uh, we take them home with us. We take them to different activities. <laughs> okay, that's what I was going to ask you. Oh, yeah. uh, what happens on the weekends and, oh, oh. and after school time? But mm -hmm. like you said, you kind of take them home with no, you. Oh, we do. We do. Okay. We, okay. We, we want them. You know, we got a lot of kids come from situations that uh, 
not the best of situations. Mm -hmm. So uh, we take them to see things and do things they probably wouldn't be exposed to. Okay, so they can go to sporting events or um, just go to other social events where they're mm -hmm. able to see or just kind of mm -hmm. hang out and talk about what's bothering them. Uh, we've taken them to Oklahoma City basketball games, you know, the, the Thunder. Mm -hmm. uh, we plan to do that with the uh, WNBA team we got here. Uh, Oral Roberts games, uh, TU football games. Okay. We, we try to keep them immersed in activities because we know if they're busy, they're not doing something they're not supposed to do. Okay. Now, how how can, can they reach you um, in the wee hours of the morning? Let's say they're involved in a crisis or, or something's happening. Uh, is it where they can also call at any time? Um, most of our mentors got more than one cell number. Uh, mm -hmm. They have mine and they have whoever their mentor is, their mentor is and probably two or three other men okay. that uh, will respond. If, w if one is busy, we got somebody who will respond. Okay, okay. So you truly are 24-7 in the mentoring support system for the youth that you, you have. We know that that's the only way it would work. You know, uh, a lot of these young men are used to being disappointed. And uh, if you say you're going to be there and you're not there, you lose that young man. So we try to not only turn that myth around, but show them that we're for real. Okay. Well, I'm going to put up information at the end of the show of how to get in touch with you for mm -hmm. other families or, or who may feel that mentoring for their, their young man would be very helpful uh, and necessary. And as I wrap up, for, for girls, because I don't want to leave them out, mm -hmm. um, the 100 Black Men basically deals with, with girls, with men rather, boys. But if there's a woman out there or a father who has a, a daughter who has some concerns, can they call you and get some references of where they can go and where they can get support? I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, we actually got permission from the National Store to Women's Auxiliary. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> and this is so first announced <laughs> on this show. <laughs> Wonderful. So, and, uh, we got a meeting Tuesday, and uh, uh, we're doing the, the final logistics on that. So Excellent. we will have a Women's Auxiliary. Excellent. Well, I mm -hmm. am definitely going to sign up to be a part of that. <laughs> good, good. Well, as we wrap up, what would you want people to sort of keep in mind about the needs of the children in this area? Well. A lot of kids that we label as being bad, all they need is attention and affirmation. And I think once you do that and you show them you're for real, you can turn a kid around, even a kid that you think is bad. Excellent. Thank you so much for your hard work, and mm. I can hardly wait till that auxiliary <laughs> gets started. Good, Thank good, you good. so much, Martha. Good. Watch your email. Okay. <laughs> well, that's our show. For Health Alert, I'm Pam Butler. I'd love to hear your comments, questions, or suggestions for future shows. Please write me at Health Alert USA. P.O. Box 50913, Tulsa, Oklahoma, 74150. Or if you're on the email trail, please email me at healthalertusa at gmail.com. And also visit me on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash healthalertusa. Don't forget to click the www. <laughs> Take care and remember, reach out, get what the kids need, and be involved. Take care. This program would not be possible without the support of OU Physicians in Tulsa.